do want to take a look, and I must stress a fair and balanced look, at the meteoric rise of Fox News host uh, Glenn Beck, or at least uh, how that is seen through the eyes of Dana Milbank of the Washington Post, uh, who has a new book out. Uh, it's a book that is called Tears of a Clown. He's with us uh, in the Washington Post studio today uh, to talk about this new book. It's uh, Tears of a Clown, Glenn Beck, and the Teabagging of America. So, uh, Dana, welcome to the broadcast. Uh, why'd you decide to write this book? You know, Bob, I uh, did a column on Glenn Beck uh, around the beginning of the year. Uh, I knew he was this phenomenon, but didn't quite understand it. And there was, in the research for this, came across this Gallup poll, and uh, uh, Americans were asked to volunteer the name of a person they most admired. And Glenn Beck actually did better than the Pope, uh, not to mention all uh, leading presidents, even edging out you, Bob Schieffer, but uh, <laughs> um, uh, the only person he didn't get ahead of was uh, Nelson Mandela, and that one was pretty close. So I said, I need to know what this uh, phenomenon is about. I mean, he's not just a broadcaster, he's an entertainer, uh, he's a movement leader, and uh, he really is, I think, the de facto leader of this uh, Tea Party movement that has really taken the country by storm. So I think to understand that, you need to understand this man. Well, where did he come from? I mean, he, he wasn't always this ideologue, was he? I not, mean, Not at all. No, he's a, sort of the morning zoo radio personality. He's been doing it since he was a teenager, uh, hopped around the country, uh, you know, got mixed up in drugs and alcohol, uh, became clean. But, you know, a dozen years ago, he had a ponytail. He supported abortion rights. Uh, so he, it was sort of a radical transformation as he went from the morning zoo to being uh, a, a conservative uh, talk radio guy, joined Fox News just as the economy was collapsing and, and the Obama was uh, uh, coming to power and uh, the combination was just perfect for him. Did you uh, interview him for this book? No, but not for lack of trying. I, I, I think he saw the, uh, the cover photo, which is uh, him in tears. and. Uh, uh, probably decided that uh, that wasn't going to be in his interest, so no, he, he did fine. <laughs> is that a real picture, or is that been it is, Photoshopped? It is a genuine picture. They're, they're real tears. I can't say they're emotionally genuine tears. Uh, they put menthol under his, um, uh, under his eyes to produce the tears. This was... Uh, How perfect. do you know that? Because there's a video of it online, Bob. <laughs> uh, it, was done, it was done for a, a photo shoot. Now, he, he, he's known for his uh, tear ducts opening up uh, on the show and uh, sometimes using that quite effectively. And I don't want to say they're not always genuine, but in, in this instance, they're not exactly genuine. When you said this is a fair and balanced look at him, did you mean that literally, or was that a little <laughs> bit of uh, satire irony? Well, uh, well yeah, I, I, I borrowed their slogan a little bit, but what I wanted to do is look at Glenn Beck in his own words. I'm not coming after him because he's a conservative. The book isn't written from a liberal point of view. It's just saying, you know, what does this man mean? And let's look at the, the things he does, uh, you know, his doomsday rhetoric, the constant uh, talk about violence, the constant talk about Nazis. Uh, what's different about Glenn Beck from everything else uh, in our popular culture? And, you know, is, is the guy telling the truth? So I just tried to look at him in his own words. You know, it, it's interesting if one looks back at the uh, history of this country. In hard times, odd, unusual right. characters mm -hmm. uh, come to the fore. Huey Long down mm -hmm. in Louisiana, for one, for an example. Yep. Do you think, uh, is Glenn Beck a, a product of the Tea Party? Is he a product of uh, hard economic times? Mm -hmm. Uh, why do you think he was such an instant success? And there's no question that no, uh, right. by certain yardsticks he is a success. Oh, a humongous success. And I actually did a, a comparison in the book, a, a chapter comparing him to Father Coughlin from the 1930s. Look, he was always a brilliant entertainer, uh, but he's an entertainer, I, I think, above all else. And uh, uh, his role model, in a sense, is Orson Welles, who by his own uh, uh, account was a charlatan. But uh, I think Beck saw where things were going and got out in front of that. And certainly uh, Beck was around on the radio at CNN uh, uh, delivering an increasingly conservative message. It really didn't take off. He didn't get traction until uh, there was the economic collapse when people start to have a very negative uh, view of the government, uh, a, a, a real grim outlook on where things are going, that creates the possibility for somebody like Beck. Do you, do re you really think he's sincere? I mean, uh, it may be that he had some sort of an epiphany. For perhaps right, this is right. just a change and he really, yeah. uh, do you think he believes all of this? Or is it, he, as you yeah. said, 
do you think he's trying to just get in, out in front of something that was already moving that way? Right. It's impossible to know for sure. You'd have to be inside the man's brain. And I don't want to say certainly that his religious conversion uh, isn't genuine. I don't want to be in the position of doing that. We, we have certain clues. Like, for example, in September of 2008, he looked at the TARP uh, bank bailout when, when Bush was doing that. And he said he supported it. He said the only problem with it is it's not large enough and all those weasels in Washington know it. And you know, for the last two years, uh, that has been the tarp has been at the at the, the very core of his argument that Barack Obama is taking the country into socialism. So there we have a very rapid change that seems to be a matter of convenience. But look, I mean, even if you're saying something that seems uh, to you a little odd, if the say, the guy's repeating it night after night, at, at some time you just uh, adopt this as part of your character. All right, Dana Milbank of the Washington Post. Uh, thank you very much, Dana. The name My of the book is uh, Tears of a Clown, and it is about uh, the rise of uh, of Glenn Beck.